Welcome once again to the latest edition of Shelf Life Book Reviews Online. Thank you as always for watching my videos, which hopefully you do find informative. And when you go to your local bookstore, you will seek out the book that I'm about to review for you. And it is the most fascinating work of fiction. And the book is All I Want by Darcy Bell. This is published by Emily Bessler Atria Books, and it retails for $23. Uh, it's a very complex book in many ways. Is it a psychological thriller? Is it a horror story? Uh, at times you start to ponder as you get deeper into the book what exactly is happening here and what is going to be the end game of the book. Now the book revolves around Ben and Emma. Ben is a Broadway um, producer. He does plays and he's very busy with his work. Now he suddenly at uh, Emma's birthday celebration at a restaurant, he tells her that he has bought an old Victorian mansion in upstate New York. Uh, now the mansion was once called Hideaway House and it was sort of like a almost a psychiatric facility for actors and uh, some strange things went on there. So uh, they go to the house and uh, it needs a lot of work obviously. Now, Ben is very busy with his Broadway plays, so he can't spend as much time there as Emma would like him to. Now, by the way, Emma is pregnant at the time. Um, so she is uh, with child, it's her first child, and so she's busy you know, focusing on the eventual birth. So she hires a contractor, his name is JD, and I guess he's a hunky guy, and uh, she, she likes him a lot. Um, he comes to, uh, with his crew to help uh, rebuild the house, and he's he's doing an amazing job. And she can't help she can't help stop fixating on him. But husband Ben uh, is fixating on his play, so he's not there as much as he should be. Now uh, Ben has interests with the real estate agent called Lindsay, and he likes her a lot. And as we find out, uh, it appears that the two are having uh, sort of an affair. Now, uh, Emma sort of suspects something might be going on as he does not seem to have as much uh, time for her. But she watches, you know, she's like, she likes watching JD. Now, in the house, she comes across a diary from one of the mental patients who was there many, many years ago. And she reads it and some interesting things that he is, his observances. Now apparently he suddenly vanished, no trace was found of him. So as the book progresses, uh, Emma in the woods, she starts seeing people like a girl and she sees things and you just get creepy undertones of what is going on in the house. Is it a haunted house? Is it her imagination? Now people around her think because she's pregnant, uh, she's having all these hormonal things and she's... Um, sort of hallucinating what's going on. Um, and um, JD is an interesting character too. He's, he almost suspects there's something strange going on. Now, as the book progresses, we wonder what exactly is going to happen here. Now, uh, Emma finally gives birth. And toward the last pages of the book, we find it's rather, it's almost, what is happening? It's like a puzzle with all the pieces that aren't fitting right. And as we go toward the ending, we're hit with a sort of, um, it's almost an ambiguous, complex conclusion as to what is happening to Emma and what is happening to the baby and what is happening with other people in the books, including the doctor at the facility where she gives birth. So it's, um, you might have to put the pieces of the puzzle together yourself and figure, okay, maybe this happened or maybe this didn't happen. So uh, I suppose that can be good and bad for a book because sometimes when you write your own conclusion or have your own uh, theory of what happened and why, it makes for a more engrossing tale. Now, I'm not going to say this is the best book out there. I'm not going to say it's the worst book out there. But it is an interesting psychological suspense thriller that sort of borders on the supernatural as there are some ghostly uh, things that happen, things that bump in the night and things that Emma believes she sees. But once again, the question is, does she see them? 
So uh, it's up to you to, like I say, draw your own conclusions. And uh, it's a recommended book, so if you do buy it, let me know if you do agree with my uh, analysis of the book, because it is very, very different. And uh, so uh, it makes you think long after you finish it, let's put it that way. So once again, I thank you for watching my video. Hopefully you did find it informative. So until we meet again, stay safe, stay sane, stay in touch, and I will see you at the bookstore. Bye for now.